General, what is it? How would you like to grab a drink? Um, a drink? Why? Do you need to discuss something? No, I'd just like to get to know you better. Oh? Well, um, sure, why not? I could use a breather. So, yeah, sure, let's go. I know a good spot. <laughs> no way! You're making this up, right? No, that's what he said. This potion shall grant you the virility of a bull. <laughs> <laughs> Ellen's reigns. Hard to believe that line would work on anyone. But then again, Empyreans are a funny folk. <laughs> you know, as a child I always wanted to cross the Sea of Dreams. See all those exotic places the bards always sing about. What stopped you? Money, mostly. And now, responsibility. I'm a circle mage. I don't feel like one, and I'm not sure I'm doing a particularly good job at it, but still. I can't just turn tail because I feel like it, can I? People are counting on me. What makes you think that you're doing a bad job as a circle mage? Oh, I don't know. I just don't feel very... authoritative, I guess. And honestly, those formal gowns? Ugh. Whenever I have to wear them for a conclave, I feel like a peacock. And don't get me started on the bodices. How some women wear these things voluntarily is beyond me. <laughs> then again, out of all the circle mages, I'm probably the best fit for these things. I mean, gore at a royal conclave? Uram? <laughs> no thank you. But you aren't planning on giving up your position anytime soon, are you? No, of course not. <laughs> but enough about me. What about you, General Erev? What drives you? Yeah, you're acting under orders. But I still can't help but feel that this mission is personal to you. Well, somebody has to do something about the God of Light, right? It's just the right thing to do. <laughs> Very noble. <sighs> anyway, I had a great time, but we've been talking for over an hour now. We should probably get back to the Wolf Chamber. <laughs> I mean, we don't want there to be any gossip, do we? I wouldn't mind. <laughs> is that so? See you around, General. I'm glad you joined us. What are you reading? A letter? What? Uh, oh, it, it's, it's nothing. All right. But if you need to talk, I'm here. Well, actually, I could use a friendly ear. Sure you want to hear this, General? This won't be as fun as our last talk. Yes. Tell me. Fair enough. Someone died. My former husband, Lauren. Oh, I'm sorry. Not your fault. But first to Har, and now him. Fate has a messed up sense of humor. I didn't even know you were married. Well, I never told anyone. Lauren and I... That was eight years ago. Two years after I fled Finn and Mir, and four years before I met Tahar. I see. So... Who was Lauren? How did you meet? In the woods of Highmark. He was a forester. I had made camp in a clearing, but must have eaten something bad for dinner. Because when I woke up the next day, I had terrible stomach cramps. I tried to push on, but I couldn't even move without throwing up. So instead, I spent the whole day lying in my tent, puking my guts out. The problem was, my provisions were almost gone, and I was severely dehydrated. And I guess Lauren found you? Found me, took me to his village, and nursed me back to health. When I had fully recovered, he offered to let me stay, and that I did. <sighs> For two years. And you got married? After a year, yes. You see, Lauren was a good man. <sighs> One of these incredibly honest, genuine people who wear their hearts on their sleeves. Simply because they have nothing to hide. He was kind, caring, and beautiful. And though he knew he didn't have much to offer materially, he laid what he had at my feet. And all of that even though I wasn't even a good match. An exiled elf. A vagrant, a mage. There were plenty of other women he could have been with. But he wanted me. I still don't get it, to be honest. So, what happened between you? Well, one day I woke up with a strange feeling. As though, all of a sudden, there was a huge, leaden weight on my shoulders. Everything felt so alien, 
so wrong. Our bed, the flowers he had brought me the day before, everything. Even Lauren himself. I wanted to tell him, but for some reason, the mere thought of it turned my stomach. So I left. I wrote him a letter, packed my things, and I left. And that's the end of the story? You left and never went back? Well, I did go back to Auchendale, three years later. He was with a new woman, and she was expecting. I see. And how did he die? Who wrote that letter? A mercenary that I hired some weeks ago. I had been thinking of him a lot after Tahar's death, and wanted to make sure he was okay. Which, as it turns out, he wasn't. He got bit by a rabid wolf while he was out in the woods. Just let me know if there's anything I can do. You already have. You listened. This might be a stupid question, but how do you feel? <sighs> huh. Lost, I guess. I know Lauren probably loathed me for what I did, but up to this day I had always felt as though he was still there. And now he's gone. And I never even found the courage to explain why I left or to apologize. You remind me of him somehow. You know that? You're good. The world is filled with selfish fools, but you're not one of them. What makes you think that? I just do. You know, I've been with men and women since, but I always seem to cling to only the ones who don't love me. <sighs> to the ones who do, like Lauren. I'm like poison. <sighs> Good thing we're just friends, isn't it? Is that all we are? Oh, uh, I don't know. I need some time now, okay? I'll be ready when duty calls. Ah, oh, Erev! Look what I found. Brandy? <sighs> Not just any brandy. THE brandy. Vintage 44-412. Right from Windholm's finest distilleries. Rara gave it to me. Well, someone looks happy today. What's the occasion? Hey, we found a tool to identify the corrupted, didn't we? And since Wraith is all busy preparing for that ritual, we might as well kick back in the meantime. And also, I... Uh, never mind. All right, give me a sip. What, here? <laughs> no way. Come on, I know a good spot. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Wraith can be quite the iceberg sometimes. Honestly, I still don't know what to make of him sometimes. He just seems so... detached. From everything. He's been through a lot. I know. <sighs> Tell me, Erev. Do you think it'll work? Are we going to stop Jakku just by hunting down the Corrupted? Frankly, I have my doubts. So do I. It'd be too easy. You know, that day before the battle on the Golden Road, when Tahar set out to crush the purity once and for all, I was frightened to death. I didn't show it, but I was. The thought that so many lives rested on our shoulders, it crushed me. And now here we are again, caught up in some cosmic scheme that might end with the destruction of our world. It's depressing. Helen's reigns. Why did I even bring this up? This was meant to be a fun time. A good conversation is fun. At least for me. True. Still, let's get back to the drinking part. Here, take... Oh, shit. The bottle's empty. <laughs> I'll find us another one. Uh, I don't know. Come to think of it, the headache will be bad enough as it is. Listen, um, there's something I wanted to ask you. Kayawu, how do you feel about him? What do you mean, how do I feel? Oh, come on, Erev. I've heard how you talk to each other. Are you just exploring all your options? Or do you feel something more? We're friends. <laughs> Why'd you ask? Oh, um, well, I... Well, I've been thinking a lot, and... <laughs> Ellen's reigns. I'm so bad at this. I think it's cute. At least you're having fun. I like you, Erev. I did since the moment I saw you on the Keep's Bridge. With that lost look on your face. I just enjoy being around you. And I feel as though we're... connected. 
Not to mention that you're, um, <laughs> quite easy on the eyes. Aria, I... I'm not who you think I am. I've hurt people, and... You made a mistake. Yes, I get it. Blazes, Aerith, how often do I have to tell you? You don't even know if what happened was your fault. And even if it was, you were trying to protect people. I just know it. Look, I'm not saying that the past is irrelevant. But what by Ellen do you gain from denying yourself happiness? The Queen believes you deserve a second chance. And so do I. Well, the feeling's mutual. You're also very... Hmm, easy on the eyes. Oh, so it's all about the looks, huh? Helen's reigns, aren't we superficial creatures? Sorry, that came out wrong. I like you too, Iria. You're... Well... You've become important to me. Funny, isn't it? I was hoping you'd say that. I wanted it so much. And now here I am, without the slightest idea what I should say. Then don't say anything. Look who's awake. Rise and shine, sir, easy on the eyes. Yuria? Ugh, what time is it? Early. Don't worry, we've still got plenty of time until Wraith's ritual. How do you feel, Erev? <laughs> I couldn't feel any better. Glad to hear that. I, um... Thank you. For last night, I mean. It really meant something to me. It still does, doesn't it? Y yeah, of course. Are you having second thoughts? N no, not really. Are you? None. It did to me too. What now, though? <sighs> Good question. I know this may sound odd, but do you mind if we keep this... open? At least for now. What do you mean by... open? Well, just, you know, relaxed. Let's not put a label on this just because we spent the night together. Let's just keep going as we did before. Don't you want security? Of course I do. Just like everybody else. It's just... Security doesn't grow overnight, does it? It grows with time and with trust. Oh no, and here I had already named our kids. <laughs> now you've got me curious. I'd love to stay a bit longer, but I think we should pay the Wolf Chamber a visit, don't you? <laughs> Just to make sure the Queen doesn't think the Dark Crescent sent an assassin after us. Though you should probably put some clothes on first. <laughs> I like the look, but it doesn't exactly add to your authority. Hey, need something? How do you feel about us? What are you trying to say? Is something bothering you? No, I just wanted to know where we stand. Well, I wasn't planning on making any dramatic scenes, if that's what you were afraid of. I'm glad things turned out the way they did between us. I hope you feel the same. I do. Glad we cleared that up. Would you like to spend some time together? I'd love to. But I don't think now is the best time, do you? You've got a mission to prepare for. But hey, how's this? Once all this mess is taken care of, we make a run for it. Just a fortnight, then we'll come back. Where to? Into the blue, just the two of us. That is, if the world still exists by then. We'll make sure of that. So distant. What's wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me. Now, do you mind if we get back to the task at hand? I'm busy. Look, Aria. Whatever it is, talk to me. Please. Okay. I think we should talk. What happened between us... It was a mistake. You're the General of the Wolf Guard, and I'm the First Mage of the Circle. What we did was foolish and irresponsible. And it's in both of our best interests to just forget it ever happened. All right? No, it's not all right. We had something. You said that you feel connected to me. Oh, God damn it! Sometimes people say stupid things that they don't mean. Get over it. And yeah, part of this is on me. I said things that I shouldn't have. I got in over my head. But now that I've had some time to think, I've realized that it was the idea of loving you that attracted me, and not actually you. So, happy? Is this the same feeling that made you run from Lauren? Yes, of course. It's all about Lauren. 
I'm scared to hurt you like I hurt him, so I'm sending my white knight away before we dive too deep. <sighs> Sorry. I... That was uncalled for. But please, just stop looking for complex explanations when it's simple. I'm not giving up that easily. There must be a way we can solve this. Solve this? <sighs> Blazes, General, we're not married, are we? There's nothing to solve. It was a one-time thing and a mistake. Just consider it a fling if it helps you put your mind at ease. I'm sure you've had many before me. Now let me be, all right? I'll be ready if you require me on the next mission. But I don't want to talk. I think we have some talking to do, don't we? You tell me. We do. But I need to tell you something first. Something that will hopefully help you understand. All that's happened, the corrupted Iskrim, that man from Imperia, it's made me think. And I think I realized something, as melodramatic as it may sound. What did the corrupted have to do with this? Well, I guess they showed me how dangerous it is to deny the things you've buried. Do you know what I mean? Iskrim, for example. He never really dealt with the loss of Gilak. His obsession with the Shapers, the Rune, the rise of Arrakis. He tried to douse the fire by adding more and more oil to it. The same goes for Kieran. He was consumed by his hatred for you. Yeah, you did him wrong. But he would have been willing to burn down an entire village just to get his revenge. Exactly what happened to his own town. What I think it comes down to is that they both ignored the fact that they'd let these buried feelings take over. And look what came of it. We can't run from our shadows, because eventually they'll catch up. The same applies to me, whether I like it or not. Mm. But anyway, on to the hard part. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what I said. I'm sorry for acting the way I did. I'm sorry for leaving you. I messed up. Just two days after that night, it was Lauren all over again. I had committed to you and all of a sudden I felt trapped again. I started doubting. And the fact that our obligations forced me to see you every day made it even worse. When it became unbearable, I realized that I had to make a cut. It was either that or go completely crazy. I just don't get it, Aria. Can it really be that hard to love someone? I wish it weren't. And that kiss? That night? It meant something to me. I mean it. How do you feel now? About us. <sighs> well, I wish I could tell you what you want to hear, but I'm afraid the truth is somewhat more complex. Again. And before you say anything, I have feelings for you, Arif. Strong feelings. If there's one thing I'm certain of, it's that I never want to lose you. As a friend, as a lover, Whatever fate decides to do with us, ultimately. But at the same time, I'm afraid of what will happen if we decide to take another shot at this. Yeah, I know myself a lot better now. And I do know this restlessness is something that I have to fix. But it won't happen overnight. And I can't guarantee anything but what I said before. I trust in our connection. And I want you near. Whatever life throws at us next. Can you accept this? I don't get it. Do you love me or not? It's not that complicated. <sighs> yes. I do love you. But I just don't want to make promises that I can't keep. Again. In other words, there's no guarantee that we won't split up again. Nothing's ever guaranteed in love, is it? But yes. I guess that's what I wanted to say. Trust me, I'm trying to fix this. I'm trying to fix myself. But right now, I can't give you anything else but honesty. I'm tired of hurting people. Well, then let's see where this takes us. Huh. Funny. What? Only a split second before you opened your mouth. I realized how much I wanted you to say just that. I love you, Aerith. No idea where this takes us. But that much I know. I didn't want to get all emotional with the Queen nearby, but... Erev, for a moment, I thought you wouldn't make it. For a moment, I thought... 
Well, tell me, why didn't you do it? Why did you refuse Shagdad's offer? I don't know. I guess because it would have felt like running away. Mm, either way, it's over. The world is safe and we did it. What are your plans from here on out? Well, first of all, I have one hell of a lot of explaining to do. Iana and Gore just arrived in Greykeep, and they are Circle Mages too, after all. After that, we'll see. I'm guessing it won't be my last collaboration with the Wolfguard. And with a particular general, whom I have a thing for. Well then, I'll see you around, won't I? Definitely. <laughs>